Hello and welcome to this video series, Building Networks, A Hands-On Guide to the Core Principles. My name is Bruce Hartpens and I'll be your host and guide as we jump into networking technologies and topologies. I've been a faculty member here at the Rochester Institute of Technology for about 18 years and I'm also an O'Reilly author and I've written several books on the topics that we're going to cover here. We happen to be standing in one of the fabulous RIT networking labs that students and faculty use to tackle all of these technologies that we're going to talk about. Networking, security, systems administration, and even quality of service are all things that we can tackle in a lab like this. In this course, we're going to cover the nuts and bolts necessary to understand, configure, and operate small to medium sized networks. Special attention will be paid to equipment, protocols, and the operations necessary to get all this stuff done. Now we're not going to take a really deep dive into everything, but I will tell you that if I touch it or use it to get something working, I'll explain it and tell you its place in the universe. In several cases, we're actually going to do a step-by-step -step build of topologies and show the operations as we go. What you can expect to find here are protocols like IP version 4, IP version 6, ARP, ICMP, Ethernet, and 802.11. We're also going to spend a lot of time with routers, switches, and access points. Some of the operations that you can expect will be things like stuff that's happening on my network, stuff that we need to do to get beyond my network, and of course, one of my personal favorites, table operations. As we close out, we'll tackle things like application processing across the network, especially with protocols like the transmission control protocol and the user datagram protocol. So let's take a look at a rack. This is a very common networking rack. It's filled with equipment like routers and switches. And we use a rack like this to interconnect devices like the ones that you see on the benches here and also connect to the rest of the world. By the time that we're done, you'll understand not only what all these devices are, but how they operate and some of the tables that exist on these devices. Now that might seem a little scary because this is production gear and you might not be real familiar with it. So because of that, we're going to start our conversation with something a little more familiar, the wireless home gateway. Now this guy is not quite as powerful as some of its big brothers over there, but it does have a lot of functionality built right in. If we take a closer look at a wireless home gateway like this, we can see that it's got switch ports, it has a routing function, it even does a little bit of firewalling, and of course we know that they're wireless. So it encompasses a lot of the stuff that we see in a rack like this. If you're really excited about networking stuff, there's a variety of sources that you can go to to get even more information. I've written the Packet Guide to Core Network Protocols, the Packet Guide to Routing and Switching, and the Packet Guide to Voice over IP. And I also run a YouTube channel and my own website, bruceharpence.com, so feel free to stop on by. Well, we've got an awful lot to cover, so let's get started. 